Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel again. If you're new to this channel, my name is Beth Ann, and um, I'm kind of new to YouTubing, learning new things, and uh, posting some Dollar Tree hauls and some Dollar Tree DIYs and crafts. But I really love uh, planners and planning, and so I have posted a couple of videos on my Dollar Tree planner, uh, do it yourself, sort of made it, and I've got a couple more coming up with different planners to sort of uh, show you guys how I use them because I am a multi-planner multi girl. Um, but today I'm going to review this planner um, or this portion of this planner. This is the household management planner um, from a larger planner Catholic Daybook. Um, it's distributed by Catholic Sisters and the link is down below. And they did send me this PDF for me to print. They sent it for free. Uh, and return for a review so I could give them my feedback and let them know what works, what doesn't, what they might want to tweak, what I absolutely love about it. So thanks again for stopping by and let's get started on the review. So today I'm going to give my first glance, first impression of the daybook of the extras bundle. Um, my my full calendar is actually still at the printer. It's not back yet. And I'll do a first glance, first impression of that one as well. So I haven't used this at all. This is um, an academic planner. So it actually starts this month and goes through June of next year, 2019. This is the household management. And um, there's also a blogger planner and a homeschool planner in the extras bundle. Now, with the permission of the ladies at Catholic Sisters, I gave the homeschool to my friend Jametta so she could review because she homeschools five little ones and I do not homeschool anybody. So she will review that one on her channel, Perfectly Chaotic Nest, and I'll link that down below. Okay, so for the household management, I like a bigger household manager for my um, meal planner and everything. So I got this three ring binder. This is, you may have seen this one at the Dollar Tree. It's the back to school. It's a jot. The, it's a jot label that I got at the Dollar Tree as well that I just popped on front and I'll put print a label that says household notebook on it. Okay, so this is the, the cover. Um, if you had a different kind of binder, you could slip this down in front of it. You could even print it on a, a thicker card stock. And it is black and white, and they've sort of got that design so that you can color it in if you like. I'll probably just leave it like that. And I didn't really have to print that one for this notebook, but I like, I like that cover. I really do. So here's some, these were just some extra pages that don't, for me, wouldn't really go into the binder. And so I just printed them. You get the to-do list. Now, I also noticed when I sent um, sent the calendar off to the printer that there are plenty of to-do lists in that one as well. But you get some in your household. And I like this to-do list. Got to get done today. Can wait till tomorrow. And here's my think tank. I do like a brain dump or a think tank. And so I do like this column here. Now, I was really happy to see this, the organizing challenge. Um, now remember, this is a Catholic planner, Catholic through the year planner, um, and it is from Catholic Sisters. Um, I'll put the link to this calendar down below in the description. I like this um, organizing challenge. Um, like even on day one, untangle your rosaries, necklaces, and scapulars. Just totally, just definitely Catholic. But clean out your junk drawer, linen closet. I like, I love to have challenges throughout the year. I go online to find them and print them off to have in my planner. And a good organizing challenge is always good. So I like that they included that. And then they also included this household tips. And just to give you like an example of some of the things, there's a, a weed killer that you can make yourself using vinegar, um, how to remove ink stains, um, how to remove pet hair from rugs, carpet, and furniture. So this is something, you know, I wouldn't necessarily hole punch and keep in the binder, but I like to keep it just over here in the pocket. So I'm, I kind of like this. And I'm assuming here, if I, if I scan this QR code, hopefully there's some more tips. So um, 
I will let you know when I do a full review. Um, what I'll do every month is um, I will do a um, month in review on this planner because this is just a first glance, first impression, and the ideas that I have about this now, I, I may change my mind as I use this planner. So let's get to the meat of this extras bundle. All right, so I showed you guys the cover page. And then very nice, it has a this planner belongs to page. Now my household planner doesn't usually leave the house, but it's always nice to have one of these pages, one of these front pages. And so it just looks nice, so I printed it off. So here's some more of the to-do list pages. And then as you see, if you print them in your binder, as if you do this front to back, what you would have would be a nice little layout here with your to-do list pages. Now for a whole household planner, I do like the three ring binder and I like the I like the size and I just print on the front page. I don't print front and back. When you guys see the main planner that I get from the printer, they're printing front and back for me. So what I do on the back side of a page is I print a bullet page so that I have somewhere to write notes. And yeah, I could leave it blank and write notes on a blank page, but I just like the the dots. It just makes it look a little more finished. Now, that's not necessarily a, a suggestion that I would make to the ladies because they're expecting that you're going to print front and back. But So this is just an option. I, I suggest this for really any planner that you print at home. If you want to print it this way, put some lines or bullets on the back side of the pages for your notes. We're getting into the meal planner. That's the first section. And I like that it has a monthly layout. Here it has breakfast, lunch, dinner for each day. I will tell you on the monthly layout for me, that is not necessary because what I use a monthly layout for in my meal planner really is on days, you know, we're going out to dinner this night. So I don't need to cook dinner and I don't need to, to have a, a grocery list, say for this day. But I order from Hungry Root, which is a vegan meal delivery plan. And I will, um, if you'd like to check them out. But see, I don't order from them every week. It's a lot of food and I am out a lot. And so I, they send about a week's worth of food. So I order every other week. You have to customize your order or approve your order or cancel your order by the Friday before it delivers on Wednesday. So I like to put a note on the Fridays just to remind me to customize my order. And then I put a note here, this is the day that Hungry Root will arrive and I'll plan my meals accordingly. And that's what I use the monthly layout for. So it is nice that it has the breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the side here, but I personally will not use that. Now we're into the weekly meal planner and this I do use. I have to say this layout is not my favorite. I prefer, I'll show you, I prefer a, I prefer for my week to be horizontal and my days to be vertical and I'll show you why in a sec. So there are a couple things actually that I'm not a fan about this page. I am going to use it for the first month and see if it grows on me. First of all, I, like I said, I'm not a fan of this layout. I do like the grocery list added. I also don't care for the modulation, the two different colors here. This is gonna be harder for me to write on and I'll show you, this is, some pages are in color. Most of the pages really are black and white. Some of the pages, especially in the extras bundle, do have color on them, but as you can see, even in color, that to me is not going to be easy to write on. It's not going to be able to see, be able to easy to see with my pen. So I'm not a fan of that. I would prefer just very distinct boxes separating the days. I printed everything on the grayscale, not really for any sort of ink saving reason. I just prefer the black and white. I do like that they have a little fish here on Fridays because as Catholics, um, we do have no meat Fridays, fish on Fridays. And so I do like that. I have to say that personally, I am not going to forget that, but this does, that's, it's just a nice touch. And it just shows that this is a good solid Catholic planner in my opinion. And again, 
on the back side of these pages, I put my bullet pages so that I can write notes as I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna serve, particularly on the days where I get the Hungry Root deliveries, because some of the items can be frozen and I like to make sure that I have those toward the end of the week and eat the more perishable items toward the beginning of the week and I can work all of that out on the bullet page that I printed. This is the only addition. Everything else with this planner for the first month, I'm gonna use just like they um, provided it, except for these bullet pages. I will go ahead and say that I went ahead and made that adjustment. Now this is just a folder, not really manila because it's gray, but it's a file folder. I just cut it in half. I trimmed the bottom because it was a little long and I hole punched it to make a divider. Now we're to their next little section, the chore section. I do like this page. It has your daily chores for each section of the house and it has little boxes to add, um, you know, your own certain things that you have to do. It makes sense to me on this to um, probably laminate this, keep it in my notebook, but laminate it and mark things off with a dry erase marker than to print a bunch of bunch of pages. I'm not sure if I would do the same with the weekly and monthly. Um, I, I'll be honest, I feel like probably weekly and monthly should be on two separate pages. Because if that were the case, I would laminate this and I would have all my weeklies. I would laminate the weekly and have all my weeklies and I'd add a few more boxes for some of my own extras. And then um, I'd put the monthly on a separate page and I wouldn't mind having, uh, having 12 separate monthly pages. I wouldn't mind printing those out and not laminating those. That would just be, again, you know, they asked for tweaks, and so that's one of the tweaks that I would make for this. I would separate the weekly and monthly tour page. And then this page, I think this is probably fine to be on the same page, the biannual cleaning, and you've got your fall and your spring checklist. Now, there are not any extra boxes, but there's room here for me to write some of my extra fall chores. Not really a lot of room here to write a lot of my spring chore. So for the biannual, I think it's fine that they're on the same page and obviously you would just really need the one page for that. So I like this. I like to go ahead and have these checklists already made out with suggestions, although I do would like more room to write my own thing. There is not a summer or winter um, checklist. So this is biannual. So there's not a seasonal checklist. And then this is nice, the Around the House project page. I can put my project here, area, and then check off when it's done. Not a fan of this artwork here. I feel like it's gonna be hard to write my projects over this. And so really, I probably only have half a page that I'm actually going to use. Now I have a separate plot project planner. I actually recycled a minimalist by Action Printing one of their planners, and I'll do a video with that and show you guys how I um, how I sort of recycled it, upcycled it, a used planner that really wasn't working for me and how I, how I turned it into a project planner. However, I do still like this page in my household notebook because this is really just a list of the project and the area, and it, is it done? It's not all of the details. So I would write the projects that need to be done in here and go to my project planner for all of the details. But at a glance, I can look at this and see what needs to be done and what I might want to tackle next. So I do like the project planner page and I would certainly probably print out a couple of those to keep in my household management notebook. So here's another homemade divider. And this is the budget page and I'll be 100% honest with you, I do my budget on an Excel spreadsheet. It works for me. It's worked for me for a long time and I don't see changing to use this. It's, I do like here um, that we have some scripture telling us, you know, give a portion to seven or even to eight for you know not what evil may happen on earth. It definitely has the, the Catholic touch to it, letting you know once again that this is a Catholic planner but I'm not gonna use this page. I did go ahead and just print one and to pop it in here so I could show it to you guys. Um, this may be something that you all would use. A lot of people 
do their budgets on paper. So I do like the look of it, it looks nice. Another homemade divider. Okay, now we're getting in to the blogger planner. And I did print some of these pages in color. I do like this brainstorm here. I like that it's already laid out. It's a great place to get started. I do have bullet pages on the back so that I can brainstorm some more, but this is a great way to get started. So here's just a close up of the brainstorm page. I really like it. Now, I am not a blogger. And so I really think I can just change that little B to a V in my mind. I don't think I'm actually gonna change it on all of the pages, but I think this will work for a, a vlogger as well as a blogger. So I like this idea, I like the brainstorming page. It'll be great to have several of these just already in the notebook to, to work on. And then just I can extend my notes by turning over to the back of it, the page and using the bullet page. Now, this I really like because I have to tell you, Organizing a YouTube channel, not easy, and I can use all the help I can get um, with planner pages and ideas from anybody. So if you have a YouTube channel, let me know your tips on how you um, organize your time and your schedule for your YouTube channel. But I like this page, the project page, a project name, um, is it a collaboration, and if so, the information. Your initial sketch here, how many days, you know, how long is it taking you to, to plan this. I really do like this. And I'll tell you, because there are a couple folks that I was talking about doing a collaboration with, and I'll be honest with you, <laughs> I'm really new to YouTube. And um, what exactly is a collaboration other than just mentioning somebody in your video? I'm not really sure, but I feel like I want to make a collaboration just maybe a little bit more involved. So, and hopefully my friends that I'm wanting to collaborate with kind of understand my thinking on that. And here's something that we can use. Just to start, just to start, um, make my checklist, go back and check this and see where I am and am I ready for the launch date on it. So I like this project page. So thanks Catholic Sisters for this, this is great. And then giveaways, I'm definitely going to have some giveaways. And so this is gonna be great. Um, for to keep track of the giveaways, what the prize, I don't know, I guess value, and um, how, I guess, how, how it's advertised and promoted up here. And I feel like some of these might not apply to me, but I think that I can, um, I can change that to something that would work for me. For the most part though, yeah, I really like this giveaway page. And speaking of giveaways, stay tuned. I've got one coming up really soon. It's a crafting giveaway, so, there's a little work on your part, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, so, and now we're just getting into the monthly planner part of the, the blogging planner. So here's my cover, you know, July, and my front sheet of blogging goals. I really could just change that to a V right there, vlogging goals. Um, so my blogging goals, uh, here's a great list for my post titles, or you know, what I would have, or what my video, maybe the topic is. Um, and the date and then over here I can my post scheduled um, I really like this question does this build up the kingdom um, that's something good to keep in mind for a Catholic Christian blogger vlogger anybody on social media um, uh, one pin one pin friendly image obviously that doesn't work for a, a, vlo a vlog that I know of but I could change that to Maybe did I post an image on Instagram to promote or something? I mean, I, I think I could edit this, alter this a little bit to, to fit my um, vlogging needs. So I really like this already laid out. And then guest posting. I don't know that I'm going to, I know a lot of bloggers have guest posters, but I don't know that um, I'm going to have guest vloggers. But I've got this page in here. I wanted you guys to see it if you're a blogger. Okay, so then these pages are really interesting. So let's go over these pages. All right, so this is first page, small fries. Um, I guess this would be the date that it's updated and it asks for, you know, nickname, birth date, medications, education, clothing, pant sizes. And this isn't really anything I need, but then I started thinking, in this past year, I gained five, count them, five um, godchildren 
And I think this would be a great way to keep up with the guide children. So I am going to keep this. Fill it out for each of them. I actually have a six, six guide children in total, not counting the adults that I've sponsored and were that were baptized on Easter vigils. But um, children, I have six guide children. So this is, I think, will come in handy. Now this one, the All About Me, it's really made for the kids to fill out. And again, it's not really something I need, so I thought I was gonna give it to my friend Jametta and so her kids could fill it out. And I might still do that, and she could keep it maybe in her homeschool, um, her homeschool folder. But then also, I think I want my godchildren to fill this out for me so that I can have it. Um, I guess it's probably, some of that might be um, duplicate information. I guess these really kind of work together. But how cute would that be for your godchildren to fill that out? So I think I'm going to get my godchildren to fill this out for me. And in their handwriting, look, it even asks here, it even asks for their autograph. So in their handwriting, I think it'll just be um, something uh, that their mom will treasure, but that I will too. So that is what I'm going to use this page for. And a babysitter information. I do not need baby babysitter information. Pets. I don't know. I don't know anybody who has pets, but if you have um, a pet, here's a great um, informational page for your pets to keep in your household notebook. So, I mean, I feel like this is pretty thorough. This is a really thorough household management um, extra bundle. Okay, here's some pages I am not going to use. This one is for your family meeting and for your notes of your family meeting. Obviously, they're encouraging folks to have good family meetings. It's not something that I do, and so I may pass these on. And now, Cana's Vineyard, a weekly marriage inventory. It's got lots of great questions. Um, a weekly marriage inventory strength evaluator. And it looks like you can read more about Cana's Vineyard here. And 20 questions for the um, weekly marriage inventory strength evaluator. So those are pages that I'm mostly not going to use, but I wanted to print them off to show you guys so that I, I could give you my first glance, first impression. Overall, I like this planner. I like the looks of this planner. So the meal planner, though I, you know, I have to say, honestly, is not my favorite layout. Um, so, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for a month. I'm going to let you guys know what I think. But I am going to show you, I think, really quickly um, why I prefer the horizontal layout to this. And show you why, show you where my problems are with this. So, I like, like I said, I like the weak horizontal and my days vertical. And I'll show you why. Um, because during the week, especially during the work week, I eat the same thing for breakfast. So I like to be able to do this. Also, for um, dinner, for, sometimes for lunch, I have leftovers, and um, this is easier than rewriting this, you know, rewriting this in the lunch portion, and those are the main reasons that this works for me. Now, yeah, on the three ring binder, I am going to have to turn the binder instead of this when, instead of this way, when I work on my meal planner, because the meal planner will be in this way. I do have to turn it this way to work on it. That's not a problem for me. <laughs> so I do prefer a layout like this. And those will be some notes that um, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll take into consideration when they make the next planner. Okay, so this is just a layout that works better for me. I just really don't feel like their layout that they've provided is very efficient. I'm, like I said, I'm going to give it a try for a month. I looked all over looking for different um, weekly meal planner layouts that would work for me, and I found this one. Um, I found it at Live 
craftheat.com and I printed them smaller because this is a smaller planner. Um, but it's livecrafteat.com and I'll put the link down below. They have plenty of free printables. So I just didn't, I felt like I couldn't show you this layout without um, giving a link. So that's the only thing I'm not sure about this um, day book is the meal planner. So overall, I'm really happy with the extras bundle. I gotta tell you, I cannot wait to get the full planner back from the printer. I will do a first glance, first impression on it when it comes back. I'm afraid I'm really not gonna get the printer back in time to do a full month review, obviously a full month for July. So my first full month review will probably be at the end of August. I will do a first glance, first impression of the full planner when I get it back from the printer. So please stay tuned for that. And a good way for you to know when I've got it posted is to subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And that way you'll know when I post the next review. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. Let me know um, what you think about this planner. Have you used this planner? Have you been looking for a Catholic planner? Um, is, it, is this something that you think you would like? I'm gonna post the link and um, I'm gonna link Hungry Root down below. I talked about that a little bit in the video and I'll put a link for the um, Live Craft Eat as well. So um, let me know what you think. Stay tuned, I've got a craft coming up, um, a DIY. And I have a small little video on how I upcycled my minimalist planner, um, a planner that wasn't working for me and what I did to turn it into something that would. So anyway, thanks you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you really soon. Bye you guys.